This is the only way you get spirit to discernment because God the Holy Spirit breathed upon all the men who wrote this book and so he gave them the correct words and that's Second Peter 1.21. Holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost. And so when we get into this book, will be straight. Thy word have I hidden in my heart, mm. that I might not sin against thee. Psalm 119, 11. You are clean through the word. John 15, verse 3. Oh, we have so many false Christs and false prophets today. They're in our churches next week or in the next two weeks. I'm going to tell you about the Yale Covenant. And now there are 444 Christian preachers in all denominations who have accepted the fact that Jesus did not die on a cross and that the name of our God, Allah, you bunch of blasphemers, hell isn't going to be hot enough for you. And I mean it. Now, isn't that exactly what the apostle Peter said 2,000 years ago in 2 Peter 2, 1? He says, there were false prophets among the people as there shall be false teachers among you who privately, secretly shall bring a damnable heresies even denying Jesus that bought them. You deny Jesus and it'll be a hot hell for you. Do you know what they teach in the Quran? Eight different times, if you believe that Jesus is the Son of God or there's a Trinity, you'll burn in hell forever. You know what my Bible says? Anyone who says he's not the Son of God is an antichrist. Sorry, you Muslims, but that's what God calls all of you through the Holy Spirit of God. Amen. We have to go by the Holy yes. Spirit. You know what, friends, I wish I, I could write a book. You know what, really, if I had time to do it, who's who in Christianity? I think, Jack, you'll be right up at the top. Who's who? You stand for the Bible. And, and you I, do, baby. Well, yes, I do. You are some Bible teacher. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, and you know who else? I put my brother in there, Dr. Yeah. Robert Shelton. Yeah. He's always been a great Bible teacher. Yeah. There are many, and I'd like to talk about others that are on the scene right now. This first one really impressed me. Mike Pence. You know what he said? when he was uh, going to become nominated for the vice, vice presidency. He said, I'm a born-again Christian, I'm an American, and I'm a Republican. In that order. Thank you, Mike. Thank you so much for that wonderful testimony. You get Trump, you got Pence, and he's a born-again Christian. And I'm hearing some great things of what's going on in the heart of Trump. He is meeting with some of my own friends who know the word. And I think soon you're going to hear that he's prayed the prayer and he's come to Jesus. You know, I'm sick of you Christians who say, oh, but he did something that wasn't very nice. I'm going to tell you something. We got a Jesus who shed his blood to wash away every sin. And you know, they took a woman who was caught in adultery. Kill her! That's the public. Jesus looked at them and said, let him or her who's without sin cast the first stone. And they all took off like they were at Indianapolis for the racetrack. You folks who criticize hmm. because Trump did that. I got something God told me today. This is the guy who owned the beauty contest. You haven't heard any of those women say anything that he tried something. And he ran this show on Sunday nights of movie stars. You haven't heard them say he's tried something. It's just a bunch of women who want a little authority. And I've already found two places where they have lied about this man. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I've never met him. I don't know him. But if you want to be free because... Uh, Wall Street Journal says we're getting ready to be atom bombed by foreign nations. Wow. As I preached a few weeks ago, who do you want? Hillary? She couldn't even save the four of Benghazi. You let him die. Or do you want Trump who says, I'll take care of him? These Muslims are going to try to kill us. Pray about it because America is in trouble. God save America. Get us the right person after this election. Please, God, please. 